in this video what i am going to discuss is the main topics you need to cover for your pmt2 and also for your prelims examination so our model test 2 will be having 50 questions out of that 45 will be from environmental science and 5 will be map questions environmental science is an important subject for prelims examination here you can see that we can expect around 11 to 25 questions from environmental science in 2017 there were 12 questions then 16 there were 11 questions and in 2014 there were maximum number of questions it was 25 so environmental science can be a game changer for your prelims examination so these are the topics you need to cover for your environmental science ecosystem biodiversity and conservation biogeochemical cycles biomes both aquatic and terrestrial then protected areas international environmental organization and indian organizations then indian laws for the protection of environment and wildlife then fauna means species animals then river system will be also cover then environment impact assessment then map some map questions also so these are the main topics you need to cover for your pmt2 so you need to be thorough with all these topics all concept related to these topics should be there with you for this conversion knowledge okay you can refer the ncrt textbooks and also you can refer the new AS material on environmental science which is available in our e-learning platform the specialty of new AS material is we have separate modules for all these topics and all the previous year questions related to that topics will be covered in that last page of that module for example if the module is about ecosystem the last page will be having the concepts uh, the questions related to ecosystem now the test will be also having current affairs also so you should be updated with current affairs for that you can refer the newspapers like the hindu times of india economic times business standards or business line etc for new AIS online students you can go through the new AIS telegram channels for environmental science you can refer two channels there uh, new AIS target prelims 2018 channel and also new AIS environmental science channel so these channels will be updated with current affairs daily current affairs along with that you can also refer new AIS monthly current affairs combination of environmental science now let us discuss the topics you need to cover in detail so first one is ecosystem so this is a question asked in 2015 in relation with the ecosystem okay so this question was a concept question and they asked the concept about ecosystem okay so you need to be thorough with the concept of ecosystem and its sub topics also so like this upc they may ask questions in relation with other topics like for example they will give which one of the following is the best description of the term ecotone or the term edge effect like that so you need to be thorough with the subject or topic which is under ecosystem so these are the main topics you need to study or you need to cover under ecosystem the first one is food chain then concept related to photosynthesis productivity ecological succession habitat ecological niche ecotone edge effect home range carrying capacity phytoplankton phytoplankton you know that it's an important topic for upsc because it's a microorganism found in the aquatic life right more than 50 percent of atmospheric oxygen is created by this microorganisms called phytoplankton so this concept okay these all topics you need to be thorough the second important topic is biodiversity you need to be thorough with all biodiversity related concepts so here they asked a question in relation with the distribution of species based on the latitude and based on the altitude so we need to know the what, are, what is biodiversity what are its types and what are the factors which is determining the biodiversity all these concepts we need to study okay so the main topics you need to cover from biodiversity is uh, the types of biodiversity like the species diversity genetic diversity ecosystem diversity all these okay the species diversity okay and its relation with the population and its uh, genetic diversity related to the their connectivity all these kinds of things because in recently there was a, a study genetic study ongoing on the tiger population in india and it found that a genetic diversity of tigers are decreasing due to the due to the non connectivity of this tiger population because the tiger populations are what fragmented so for in order to get a genetic diversity they need to be connected with each other so we can expect a question related to that so the species diversity species richness species evenness 
values of biodiversity, the main threats for biodiversity, then the conservation methods like in situ conservation method and ex situ conservation method, all these concepts you should study. Then one thing I am only discussing about the main areas. You have to go through the other topics also. Anyway, you have to thorough with these topics and you have to go through the other topics which is under biodiversity or which is under ecosystem or something like that. Then next topic is biogeochemical cycle or simply we can call it as nutrient cycle. So there will be also questions like this. So this was a question asked in relation with carbon cycle. How the particular carbon is added to the carbon cycle. Okay, so these kinds of questions will be there. So like this, instead of carbon, they may ask question about nitrogen. How nitrogen is added to nitrogen cycle or how sulfur is added to sulfur cycle. And they will give some options also. So we need to study the nutrient cycle. We need to study the biogeochemical cycles. So these are the main cycles you should study. The carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, the sulfur cycle, the phosphorus cycle, hydrogen cycle and oxygen cycle. And when you study the cycles, the main area you, ha you have to focus is how this particular nutrient is added to their cycle. And how humans are affecting that particular cycle. Then another important topic is biomes. Okay, there are uh, different types of biomes like the forest biome. Uh, grassland biome, desert biome, tundra, like that, right. So, within that forest, we are having different kinds of forest also. Evergreen forest are there, deciduous forest are there, mangrove forest are there, thorn forest are there, right. So, these kinds of biomes you should study. The features of that biome or the features of that type of forest you should study because there will be questions like this. Here the question is about the character of equatorial forest. And they have given some character about equatorial forest. Right. Like that, they may give the options about deciduous forest or about the thorn forest or about the savanna biome or about the tundra vegetation. And they will give statements about that particular vegetation. Okay, so we need to study about the character or feature about these kinds of biomes. Then another type of question from biomes is the vegetation. Okay, they will give questions like this. Uh, for example, they gave a vegetation called a tropical wet evergreen forest. And they gave some states also. And we need to identify which of these states is having this kind of vegetation. And India is having lots of vegetation like the tropical wet evergreen forest, semi evergreen forest, deciduous forest, then thorn forest, subtropical vegetation, littering swamp vegetation, alpine vegetation, etc. So, we need to know which of the area is having these kinds of vegetation. For that you can study the natural vegetation module of your uh, NCRT textbook and it is having a map also. So these are the major areas you have to study from biomes, from the vegetation. The character or features about deciduous forest, temperate forest, taiga or coniferous forest, uh, savanna biome, tundra vegetation, then equatorial forest, etc. Then we also need to study the areas of these kinds of forest in India. Which of the area in India is having these kinds of forest like the forest like uh, the deciduous forest, evergreen forest, litter and some forest, thorn forest, Himalayan vegetation like that. Because as like this question instead of this tropical wet evergreen forest they may ask question like this uh, in which of uh, in which of the above states do litter and some forest occur? Like that question may ask. For that you have to get a clear idea about which of the region in in India is having these kinds of vegetation. For that, either you can refer the NCRT textbook or you can refer the uh, Neo AS bio material also. Then, another important area is protected areas. So, this is one pattern uh, from protected area. Okay, they will give some protected area name. Now, they give biosphere reserve and their state also. And we are asked to match it properly. So, like this question will be there. And instead of this biosphere reserve, they may give the tiger reserve or they may give the national park or they may give the wildlife sanctuary like that. Okay. So, we need to know the important protected areas in India. And when I say the important protected area means that will be asked by the UPC previously or it may be come in the news recently or it may be having some special features also. Okay. So, this is one way of asking question from protected area. Another kind of question is Instead of this state, they may give river systems. 
and instead of or instead of this river systems they may give the mountain systems so when you study the protected area you have to be thorough with the river systems and the geography also that means uh, the mountain system also another thing about protected area is there may ask questions related to concept of this protected area also what is this uh, for example the concept related to bias reserve who is declaring bias reserve and what is bias reserve and what are the functions of bias reserve like that what is national park and who is declaring that and which law is giving protection for that national park for example you know that while by the provision of wildlife protection act we are declaring national park like that question okay so the, like that concept we need to be thorough so these are the main protected areas we have to study bias reserve national parks wildlife sanctuaries tiger reserves ramsar sites world heritage sites hotspots also so you have to be thorough with the concept about this protected area what are the difference between these all things and the main protected areas in india also we know that in india we are having 18 bias reserve then 103 national parks are there then more than 500 wildlife sanctuaries are there 50 tiger reserves are there 26 ramsar sites are there then seven natural world heritage sites are there so there are more than 700 protected areas in india right but we cannot study all these things so the protected area which is in news and which is asked by upsc previously that you have to be thorough then another important area is organizations and conventions both international organization and also indian organizations and also we need to study about the indian laws indian acts okay so the, the first question is about an international organization called the traffic okay so they gave some two statement about regarding this traffic like this they will give other organization for example the question will be like this uh, consider the following statements in respect of sites sites means the convention on international trade in endangered species of wild flora and fauna and they gave some statement regarding sites okay so like that question will be there so you need to be thorough with the important international organization which is working for the protection of environment or biodiversity or the nature okay and like that there will be questions related to indian organizations also we need to know the special features about indian organization okay how these organizations are working and if it is established under any provisions of law that we need to study so let's see how they ask this question so here they ask the interaction with the law and their organization and next they gave a organization and whether it is a statutory body and another organization and which is chaired by prime minister so we need to know the features about this particular organization like whether that organization is declared under any environmental laws or if it is having any statutory status or if it uh, or whether it is a government organization or non government organization and how these are working whether it is giving fund or whether it is giving only awareness creation or whether it is having local to bottom approach or whether it is giving any technologies like that so here are some important international organization sites that we already discussed then iucn unesco ramsar convention wetlands international world life international stockholm conference earth summit unfcc cbd unccd unep gtf gef cms peta like that there are lots of organization so these are important organization and if any other organizations are there in news that also you need to be thorough and how you should study about this organization is you can refer the official website of all these organizations there you can see an about us page okay so the upsc they will ask only question from or they will only take these kinds of statements from their official website so these are international organization like that so these are the indian organizations bnhs bombay natural history society botanical survey of india zoology survey of india animal welfare board of india wildlife institute of india national tiger conservation authority genetic engineering and appraisal committee national board for wildlife national biodiversity authority national ganga river basin authority national mission for gil ganga national green tribunal central pollution control board etc like that there are lots of organization and also we need to be thorough with the central acts okay laws also we need to study like the wildlife protection act 
Environmental Protection Act 19, uh, 1986, then Biodiversity Diversity Act 2002, then Indian Forest Act. Like that, there are lots of laws that also you have to study. Then, this is also one of the important area, species, because every year we can expect at least two questions from this species, from the animal part, from the species part. So, these are the three patterns of they are asking question. One pattern will be they will give a name of species and they will give some regions also and which of these regions we can find this animal. Okay, for example, here the gadiel. They ask about gadiel. And instead of gadiel, they may ask question regarding hornbill or question regarding land tailed macaque or question regarding sangai deer. Okay, so these are some endangered species and endemic species also. This sangai deer or dancing deer, it is endemic to Lockter Lake. Right. So, there are lots of these kinds of endemic species in India and also threatened species in India. So, we need to know the main threatened species in India. Then another pattern is they will give name of an animal and the main features about that animal, main character about that animal. Right, like this. For example, here the Karai camel and they are having these kinds of features. And it is the only camel capable of swimming and it, they, are, they are feeding on the mangrove forest like that. Okay, like that, instead of this Karai camel, they may ask Sangai deer. Sangai deer, okay, it is in the, it is only seen in the Lockrock Lake and it, they are feeding on the fungus vegetation, like that. Okay, then another pattern is, they will give about 10 species and they will give some statements about that. For example, here the Dagong and they give that uh, this species is protected under Schedule 1 of Valley Protection in 1972. So, like that question will be there. So, we need to know the scheduled animals in India. There are lots of protection measures. There are lots of international organizations like World Life International is there. Right. IUCN is there. WWF is there. So, all these are trying to protect the animals. And also in India, we are also having BNHS. BNHS is a part, partner of World Life International. Right. And also, we are having Wildlife Protection Act 1972. By that, we are scheduling animals from Schedule 1 to 5. And Schedule 6 is for plants. Okay. So, in order to give protection, we are scheduling these animals in schedule 1 to 5. This scheduled animals will be having high protection. Okay, schedule 1 will be having most protection. The tiger, elephant, all will be under schedule 1 category. And one thing, the schedule 5 is the animals which we can kill. That means the vermin category. So, we need to know the scheduled animals in India. That means the protected animals in India. And also, we need to know the endangered species in India. Because due to the human developmental activities, the habitat is decreasing or the habitat degradation is happening and also due to the climate change also habitat is degrading so this climate change is also a after effect of human activity these kinds of precious animals are vanishing day by day so that's why these organizations and laws are protecting these animals so we need to know the threatened animals in India okay so these are the main topics you should study and also river systems so the model test 2 will be also having question from river systems because this river system question will be also asking in relation with the protected area. So, that is why we are also including river systems in our MT2. So, you need to know the origin of rivers, rivers ending of rivers, the main tributaries of that river. Okay. And if that river is flowing through any major important protected area, that also we need to study. For example, through the Rajaji National Park, Ganga River is flowing. Through the Jim Corbett National Park, uh, Ram Ganga River is flowing. Then through the Panna Bias Reserve, Ken River is flowing. Like that information, you should also study. Then last thing is environmental impact assessment. Actually, environmental impact assessment, it's the main topic. But we can also expect a question from that. Because it is given a legal status by Environment Protection Act 1986. Okay, so that kind of question may be there. So, these are the main topics you have to study for your prelims examination and also for your upcoming model test too.